Hello, y'all. So it's 5.54 p.m. Um, I didn't even go to my storage unit today. So, I mean, I mean, not having enough sleep and then dealing with noise harassment all day. And then um, now I'm... Um, need to calm down right now and so my twin sister the compulsive liar that she is if y'all gonna listen to her you better fucking listen to me too it's not it shouldn't have to be one-sided because if god does not choose sides y'all shouldn't have you know y'all shouldn't choose sides either so everybody want to, you know, if I have to lose subscribers due to my targeting, and I'm sorry that, you know, it's the, the the last day of the year, which hasn't been a good year anyway. And I don't, I mean, I guess no matter what, uh, New Year's is going to be bad anyway. So, wait. Now my phone is trying to act slow. So. It's like I don't even know why I'm getting worked up over evil people. Uh, people who are wrongdoers. You are narcissistic wrongdoers. Sociopathic wrongdoers. Who think you have the authority to judge and condemn me. And so, um, oh, I'm coming. So, I told y'all my twin sister, um, when she tried to send me was fake. She never had my back. Never. So, why this time? So, um, come on, I'm coming. So, if my twin sister lying and say that she's not a gang stalker. But yet, she's defending and hanging with the gang stalkers. Well, I'm not even going to bother trying to show it, but she tried. I mean, I read this the other day, like a couple of days ago. So <clears throat> she must be watching this channel. And if you watch and have something to say about everything I do, vid everything, every video I do, that even if it doesn't pertain to you, I mean, I thought we were supposed to have separate lives. What, what goes on in your life is your business, and what goes on in my life is my business. That's the way the fake foster family wanted it. <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> I was, <clears throat> excuse me, in the process of praying about it and trying to make a choice with my twin sister and she's back to abusing and perping me again <clears throat> so it's okay for her to not accept my apology and ignore me for a long time and i have to wait until she's ready to make up or make a truce which is, i have to wait years when she gets into an argument with her lesbian lover or any other family members and five minutes later it's like as if nothing happened <clears throat> so it's like, I have to be forced to lose subscribers and be told that, you know, I'm wrong, you know, I mean, the subscribers were making like, I'm wrong for, um, you know, arguing back or doing something back or whatever, or defending myself, but, you know, if as I said before, 
I mean, my twin sister has videos of herself throwing up devil horns, hand signs. She's still gaslighting and mocking me and lie and say that I'm the gang stalker. And so, you know, you don't even, how you, you she tried to lie, start a smear campaign on Twitter. And I lost a lot of Twitter friends. She lied on me on Twitter and said that, um, that I, like she copied off of what the foster mom would do to cover, protect and cover herself. Like when the foster mom would falsely accuse me of reading up on mental disorders and claim I have it. So that's what the, my twin sister was trying to do, was trying to falsely accuse me of reading up on gang stalking and then just lying and say I have it. And falsely accuse me of manipulating people for money. And you know damn well I don't roll really like that. So, I thought the fake IDMR cult didn't believe in uh, Christmas or whatever. So she lied and said, well, hello, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and also wish that we can end the beef. Well, if you wanted the beef to end, why are you still making videos about me? And even if you said you wanted to end the beef, but your cult followers were still perfect me. So I also think that you should press charges on that girl. And if you need me, I got your back. You never in my in your life had my back. Just like I'm going to show y'all the fake T.I. perp. Tony White, who did a video about me, my twin sister tried to gaslight me and defend him. You still friends with Stars 15K. Shit's got 10K. Y'all two are conversing with each other. I bet you y'all two don't even have each other's phone number. Y'all don't even talk on the phone. Y'all will never meet in person. But this is who you defend against your own flesh and blood relative. I don't have much of anybody on my side except maybe one or two people, and that even seems rocky. Ain't nobody going to listen to me that you out here trying to make a whole smear campaign to make me out to look super crazy and demented and mental, but at the same time, you know, you claiming, falsely claiming that I'm gang stalking you and you're targeting me. I mean, oh, you falsely accuse me of targeting you, but you before you don't. I mean, without even to getting to know the symptoms of gang stalking. So she try. To, I mean, oh, if you need, oh, you should. I also think you should press charges on that girl. And if you need me, I got your back. You never had my back. Always defending strangers you will never meet against your own twin sister. And then, you know. When it comes to me, everybody brick wall and nobody want to hear what I got to say. But she would get more likes and subscribers and everything and defenders. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering, like, what kind of witchcraft she got like that? You know, that I have nobody on my side, nobody support me, nobody to listen to me, nobody believe me. I'm just shut down and muted like R. Kelly. I don't have a right to have a voice. You know, she tried to lie and say, I have no money right now, but at times I wanted to send you money, but felt like you would not accept it. With the $10 you gave me by cash app and then almost immediately demanded a, a refund, that's what you call wanting to send me money. But you worship the vape so much. Let me get in your business. Let me talk about the things that you do in your life. You know, if we're supposed to be like strangers to each other and what goes on in your life is none of my business and everything like that. But you have a right, every all rights in the world to comment on my life. <clears throat> and you don't even know exactly what's going on. That's why I think your fake apology was a way to try to manipulate, a slick way to try to manipulate me into taking down all my videos. But you're not going to make me out to look mentally deranged and far beyond, you know, far beyond somebody, you know, basically, you know, I can't be quote unquote help, which from narcissistic abusers tra uh, translation mean they feel threatened that they can't control me anymore. Oh, I'm a wild beast that can't be tamed. 
Oh, yeah. So I have no money right now, but at times I want to send you money, but felt like you would not accept it. But I'm not a gang stalker. Okay. You're not a gang stalker. Why are you talking to um David Jane? And if we were, we were like the foster family and the psychiatrist and the fake social workers, they manipulated, they, they created all this competition between me and my twin sister. But she knows what the fuck she's doing right now. She knows what she's doing right now. So, but I am not a gang stalker. You prove you are. And the fake T.I. perps, and, and it's sad that the real T.I.s don't have discernment and realize that she's the one who's actually being manipulative, a manipulative, narcissistic perp trying to shut me down and is embarrassed. I'm talking about everybody. And she, like, I was already talked about everybody. And she will make it like it's none of my business how she stumbled upon or who told her, excuse me, about my, um, you know, my social media accounts and my YouTube. Um, she That's none of my business. She won't even tell me how she got a hold of my accounts. So you're not my handler. You do not have authority over me. You're not going to sh shut me up. I do not have to do what you tell me to do. And I will not comply with any fake mental health or fake IDMR cult. <clears throat> But you're selfish and just do what the fuck you want because you do everything for your lesbian lover. You do everything for your lesbian, your gay lover. And then, you know, you gave her the world while you threw your kids in the trash. You threw your kids in the trash for that lifestyle. Now they're in the foster care system. We don't even know what's going on with them. They're probably being ritually molested and abused. Drugged up, definitely. But the fact that she figures she can manipulate me by threatening suicide as a way to silence me. Like, I can't talk about what she's done wrong. So, you know... But then everybody will ho try to hold me responsible for her getting mad and, you know, trying to do stuff to herself. But then y'all calling me crazy and mentally out of it. I'm not going to, I mean, because <clears throat> the fact that she can get away with lying and saying I did all this harm to her kids, I still wish I had that video. I think it's on one of my, ex I mean, one of my uh, external hard drives that's corrupted. So, I mean, that's why they keep all the secrets away from me. Because they got a lot of dirt. The whole family, they got a lot of dirty secrets. And right now, I'm going through pretty much, you know, well, I think Jaguar, right? She has it worse because she's been in the entertainment industry. So she's been targeted way worse than me, you know. But, you know, we still like going through the same thing somewhat right now, you know, being heavily targeted. <clears throat> so <clears throat> my twin sister try to say, but I am not a gang stalker. We just have disagreements. Once again, Merry Christmas. Have a good day. I wish, do not wish death on you and never will. Well, why did you tell, say on Twitter that I should drink, go and drink bleach? So I mean, because that J.E. guy who wanted to get a T-shirt for my twin sister, he went on that Tony White guy's video and, you know, agreed with him. And like, oh, I agree with everything that you're saying. And everybody going to agree with the Tony guy. But the Tony guy, he sounds like he's on freaking drugs. He sounds like he ain't mentally got it all, you know, but everybody going to flock to him. And bow down and worship him too. Um, so, you know, I'm trying as best as I can to try to better myself as a Christian. And I don't want to stoop to their level. But my twin sister, she is perping me. Been perping me since our teenage years. 
And I have a right to speak out and without fear. I shouldn't. You think you can try to bully and threaten and intimidate me, try to scare me. I'm the older twin. I don't care if it's 13 minutes. I was born first. But you're not, you don't have authority over me and you're not going to control me. So, you know, she'll try to use the smear campaign and manipulate everybody into believing that I'm inconsistent and that, you know, are there holes in my story and that, you know, I ain't mentally wrapped too tight. You know, but it's like people are going to agree with her without question, you know, without seeing both sides before making a judgment. I mean, you threw up the Baphomet hand, I mean, the Baphomet hand sign, the devil hand sign, the 666 hand sign. So, you know, you part of the same narrative of falsely accusing me of harassing innocent people. But you're not physically here. and Like, you're not physically here at all. And you have, no matter what, you have your mind made up. So, this is what Stars 15K told me on my blog about <clears throat> several months ago. She tried to say, uh, research the Doppler effect. You look foolish without knowing what that means. Like someone, like saying someone's taking your sleep spot, your seat on the bus, and your chill spot. None of those are yours. And stars for stars for Team K, stay out my business. Mind your own fucking business. Leave me the hell alone. You're way in Indiana. You have nothing to do with me. Never speak about me again. Stars 15K act like, I mean, she's at home dying of cancer and she's, seen, and she's um, you know, sitting at home saying everything, everything she can to try to tear me down. And she has, she's rubbing her hands together, hoping that I would Candy Grand Prix will commit suicide. Or, you know, she's hoping for me to end my life. And Stars 15K and... Madison, my twin sister and all them, they're all fucking compulsive liars. Can never be you can never believe them. So, um, you know, it's if, if I want to claim something as my sleep spot, you're way in the Indiana, so that should have no effect on you. So your sleep spot, your seat on the bus, and your chill spot, none of those are yours. And yeah, in my life, Candy Grand Prix's life is not yours. So you stop meddling. Being a busybody in other men's matters. You narcissistic dirty dyke. The, they are all public areas and anyone can use them whenever they want. You don't have the authority to say that. Well, I have a right to sleep in whatever hotel I want. I have a right to spend my money how I want. I have a right to have a roof over my head. And if I had a roof over my head, that would be my sleep spot. And that would be my chill spot and my potty spot. You know, so I told you shit, Yacht Team K is fucking jealous as hell. Jealous. And she's part of the fake uh, Mormon cult. I don't even know why I'm on your mind. Stars 15K, you're the one who's sick in the head. If you, I don't understand how people say I'm crazy. They say a left eye from TLC was crazy. They say Jaguar right is crazy. You know. But the ones calling us crazy are the ones who do stuff like have a conspiracy to have your car blown up. But we're the crazy ones. But, you know, that's funny how they call us crazy, but they're constantly fucking with us. And then, when we retaliate, they're the victim. They want to act like a hurt dog. 
So then she wants to say, um, also claiming, oh, they, they are all, all public area. And nobody told Stars 15K to come on my blog or follow and unfollow me repeatedly. Now, if you do that, who's the one who's mentally unstable? Stars 15K, I'm war uh, Star Bricker, I'm warning you. There is a special spot in hell for you, Alex Dupree, and all y'all other sold out Satanists. Uh, that's a freaking warning. Oh, saying, uh, you know, they are all public areas and anyone can use them whenever they want. Also claiming my comment is holier than thou because you are reading the Bible and listening to Christian music is the very definition of holier than thou. I'm not projecting anything. You complain people take your seat in, in a public space. That is greedy. Uh, see, she just want to use that trigger word greedy. Well, you meddle in other people's business that have nothing to do with you. That is greedy. You trying to tell strangers how, on the internet how they should spend their own money. That is greedy. You complain about people shorting you on food when it, and when it's obviously a standard serving. That is gluttony. Bitch, if they gave you a half a bowl of grits, you would you would um go and swallow a whole bunch of pills, you know, and try to end your life. And I'm sitting here taking dealing with this stuff all the time. So you're the one who would be weaker if you were targeted and had this stuff happening to you. A half a cup like this, that is not standard serving. And you know, you fucking know it. And it's none of your fucking business. Again. And, I t and nobody told you to take my number, steal my phone number, and call me. So now this seems like this is going to be war. You know, how the hell, you had to have been a glutton. How the, how the fuck else, what, what did you do to your body that you got cancer? At least I don't have that. And me being gluttonous, I'm not even a glutton anymore. You know, but it's between me and God. He's the only one who I have to confess my sins to. Again, you stick your nose in your own business, in your own dog shit. Because you probably racist and the type of person who do, you know, zoo fill your rituals on your damn dog. Don't you freaking get me started. And I don't even say don't get me started. I don't even talk like that, but I'm going to say it in this video. You claim people are skanky whores and filthy homeless as though they are lesser than you. I never said they were lesser than me. But I'm forced against my will to be homeless because of this targeting program. But I call, you know, if you're a dirty homeless perk who dirty by choice and come harass me, then I call you dirty. But if you're homeless and targeted and can't help it, then I understand that. But I only say that towards, you know, the perks. I call them a demonic, dirty, homeless perk. Yeah, I call them that. And they're spiritually and filthy. I mean, spiritually filthy as well. So be quiet. Uh, you, you claim people are skanky, skanky whores and filthy homeless, as though, they're, though they are lesser than you, who has to admit to pee in your pants. That is prideful. No, you think you've been gang stalking people is prideful. And the electronic weapons force me against my will to pee on myself. And that, plus, I clean myself as soon as I possibly can. So, you see how they're overly in my business when. Stay, you 59 years old, stay out of trouble. Mind your business and like, leave me alone. You have nothing, no, no reason to associate with me. And everyone in the world is out to annoy you to death by do, doing usual normal things. That is narcissism. No, if you think you can control how, much, how a stranger spends money, then that's narcissism and prideful because you're not the judge. That you're nitpicking and trying to dissect my life and I'm not even bothering you. And then she tries to say, look in the mirror, Candy, claim your faults or you will forever be burdened by them. And look at where you are in life and your employment and living situations. How is that working out for you? But you're telling me I need to go to go get a job. But here you are uh, disabled and homebound. You know. So, oh, here's a fake perp here. A comment on YouTube said when I. Said rants on the phone for two hours at times yelling. Two minutes later, moans about people in the next room making a noise. 
Yeah, y'all all perps trying to smear campaign me. You know. So I'm coming, y'all. Hold up. Y'all think that I just should be this punished child being bullied with no rights to speak up every time. And here's a fake perp that's calling himself Blab Cat with a demon looking face saying you accuse someone of murder for having a headlight up. That is grossly deform defamatory to that person driving by. There are millions of cars driving with a dead head. Like, yeah, right. Millions of people. You get. You're supposed to get pulled over. Driving with one head, like that's, and you, and you don't get pulled over. That's a perp. So you know what the fuck when you're saying. And why do you think it is an organized effort to annoy you? Because you you know exactly what you're doing. You paid. You got paid to. Come, you greedy and got paid to come on my channel to freaking stalk, gang stalk and harass me. So this is what this fake sunshine rain person told me on uh, on Jaguar. I mean, on my channel, on Jaguar Wright's page. I mean, on, on my channel, on my Jaguar Wright video. So this is how somebody tried to gaslight me and Jaguar. I mean, for, she tried to jack. I mean, gaslight and ab narcissistically abuse me for defending Jaguar. So she said, "No disrespect to you." Because I, you know, I talk about Jaguar Wright being a targeted individual, and so this Shunshine Rain R A Y N E person said, "No disrespect to you. You say you don't know her story. I said I didn't know all of her story. I didn't say I didn't know her story. Jaguar is a delusional, like like they say about me. Jaguar is a delusional, habitual liar. Clearly, you haven't heard or seen all Jag F B Facebook and Instagram rant." The horrible thing she spoke about her ex-hubby and her very own son. You need to fact check and do research before you make videos defending anyone. Well, um, you need to fact check and, and research gang stalking. Uh, you sound like a Masonic sold out perp your damn self. Jag made two fake posts and sent herself emails pretending they were from Clive and Alicia. Why would she do that? I wish you luck with your journey, but you need to chill because... Going by this video, you haven't a clue of the real insane delusional in and out of jail, Jaguar Wright. I'm defending Jaguar Wright, so y'all be quiet. So, fake targeted Madison, you know, try to gaslight me. My twin sister put up another video two days ago, supposedly. And entitled throw it in the trash and then uh madison from twitter tried to post my twin sister's lying video and i can't i'm not allowed to even watch my twin sister's videos you know i just see the title in the comments but i don't click on the video you know because then it, it, it's like people more people would get mad at me you know so madison tried to Say babies cannot be perps. I never said any babies were perps. And so then, you know, here go my twin sister with the throw in the trash video full of lies. And so, <clears throat> I mean, I said I wanted to, I would have liked to try to sit down and have a truce and tell my twin sister everything. Because I know, I mean, I know that. You know, they program us to be this way. And it seems like as long as she's still under that mind control, I, I mean, it, it seems like it, it doesn't seem like, and, I, and people be like, well, you can't make her. Well, she can make me get to see a psychiatrist and take medicine and go back to the fake idea Marco or whatever. But, you know, I, I, well, I was never said I was trying to force her to see the truth. You know, but it's like, you know, when your own twin sister has 
I mean, is acting out the same abuse that foster mom did to both of us. And then she gained favor with my twin sister. I mean, when my twin sister gained favor with her. And, you know, that's why I said, this is, I know, I know that this is strong witchcraft. And, uh, strong witchcraft. <clears throat> you know, because I even prayed last, I mean, I, I mean, I even prayed last night, you know, how I would like to, you know, forgive my twin sister and make a choose. And it's like, I'm not, as I said, I'm not taking any of my videos down. And there's more stuff I would like to expose about her. Excuse me. But I've been talking about everybody. But I, I still don't understand why she felt the need to single me out when I didn't single her out and I exposed um, everybody in this gang stalking program and this MK Ultra thing. And she's just only attacking me personally. Things that her own husband has done to her, she's not speaking about that. I'm the only person, the only one who's being personally attacked and shut down and gaslit and abused and lied on. And smear campaign like you don't even want your own twin sister to get help from being tortured and abused and you just want to lie and say girl them people going about their business they ain't thinking about you the foster mom will make the same smear campaign gaslighting and lie until it happens to you <clears throat> like what did i do to deserve to be what did I do so horrible? I should be locked up in prison if I'm that bad of a person. And you know, y'all know y'all falsely accusing me of things I never done. So here, my twin sister tried to say, if being a targeted individual, the gang stalker is out to kill you. How are you so brave to run up on them if you are so in fear of in fear of your life? Mic drop. Yeah, that's her. You, you she too old to be trying to talk this twenty year old. Uh, the social media slang that the twenty year olds try to talk. You know, you still trying to be cool and trying to be fake gangster. Put on an image of being fake gangster and a fake thug. You know, and trying to be a fake thug and being, you know, arrogant does not make you real. I mean, more than one person has told me that they can tell that my twin sister is lying in her videos. So I'm glad I have that. People who, are, who can recognize that. Lying about everything. Like, damn. And then David Jane was lying on me too, saying, I try to tell her, stop being negative and just get help. Plus, she cursed at me. David Jane, you mentally slow. I never cursed at you. She tried to say every video, I mean, David said, oh, every video she posts that everybody perp her. What the hell, David? You don't even know what perp means. So here go the fake, demonic, illegal Muslim, uh, Tamika Evans, the illegal Muslim whore, Tamika Evans. Let me not comment on here. I don't want to be the topic of her next video. Well, you keep it up and you'll be, the, uh, you know, you're the topic. You know, you're Satan's chief lover right now. So be quiet. And then my twin sister hearts and likes her comment and said, mm-hmm. So then shit's yuck 10K stars 15K. Bitch, stay out of me and my family business. Oh, you put it out there. So stay out of our business. Here goes shit's yuck 10K's illegal comment. Criminal, illegal, satanic, dyke tom comment. She is never going to be a happy and whole. Of course, you people, you harassing me and stuff like that and that and trying to take down my YouTube channels 
and getting me banned from hotels and bragging about it and trying to get me locked up in a mental hospital in the middle hospital when I never done you anything. Y'all making me miserable, but y'all are sold out Satanists. Who's greedy? If you sold your soul to the devil in an exchange for money, fame, and power, or either or, money, fame, or power, well, y'all don't have fame, but y'all got money and power. While y'all targeting and trafficking and making a lot, exploiting and making a lot of money off of us. I'm supposed to be the family sacrifice, so they say. So she tries to say she is never going to be happy and whole. Anyone who is not miserable like her has sold their soul and is going to burn in hell. So whoever has whoever is not a perp is miserable. Whoever's targeted is miserable. You make um, you make us miserable. And shit, you are k you are not slick. You are a compulsive liar, and then you lie and say that you never lie. Y'all are all sociopathic, narcissistic abusers. Y'all all worship Satan. I try to say, anyone who is not miserable like her has sold their soul and is going to burn in hell. Have fun at Christmas. It's a pagan ritual. You are going to hell. Have a new car. You see, you, you're mocking a Christian, you know. Have a new car. You sold your soul and you are going to hell. Nice house. Sold your soul. Good job, family, friends. You are, gang, you are a gang stalking perp. I can't fix you. Yeah, my twin sister, look, see? So my twin sister must have said in her video, I can't fix you. Meaning I can't control you. So they say when a narcissistic abuser can't control you the way they want to, here come the smear campaigns. So she tried to say, too true. You offered. That's all you can do. She is un unwilling to change. You're damn right. You're damn right. I'm not selling out, you know, I'm going to stay this way. The only person to change is towards God. And I'm trying to make those changes in the men's, you know, to please him, not y'all. Because y'all work for Satan and glad to do it. And want to ex exercise your so-called fake right to worship Satan. So my twin sister must have said, I can't fix you. <clears throat> well, you can't control me. Damn right. I mean, I, I mean, it's like I've been losing this battle for so many years. So now they, they make it like as if I'm a wild, untamable beast that needs to be put down. That I need to be lethally injected or something. You know, and so... She said, that's all you can do. She is unwilling to change. Perhaps she is unable to change. It's all on her now. Well, Star Bricker, you are, um, <clears throat> you are, you are, um, you know, you are a mental patient yourself. You know? So you have mental problems yourself and act like, you. I mean, so if you don't, <clears throat> you must be one of those people who think my mental is better than your mental. So if you consider yourself a mental patient and been seeing a psychiatrist and taking medicine, how you going to call me crazy? How you going to call me greedy if you a high paid perp and a witch? You do witchcraft. The unicorn proctology specialist. That shows how perverted your mind is. It's all, oh yeah, perhaps she is unable to change. It's all on her now. I hope you had a Merry Christmas and are going to have a wonderful New Year. Celebrate. 2020 sucked majorly. 20, 2021 can only be better. And my twin sister, I mean, this really hurts that my twin sister's response was like, thank you, uh, I slept through Christmas. Yeah, narcissistic abusers always say literally unnecessarily. Literally all day. But chances are I may do the same for New Year's runs in the family. If not, I will be cooking and paying bills. And then she, here go my twin sister also saying, I'm tripped out that dude was literally trying to help her and give her jewels to protect herself because targeted individual or not, the route she's going is not safe. And I, I worry for her at, at times. Well, if you worry for me at times, you will be defending me and doing videos speaking, vouching for me 
rather than speaking against me and having your cult followers come. I mean, you would not be speaking against me if you worried for me at times. You would do everything you can to try to protect and help me, and you will listen to what I have to freaking say. But every it's like you get that from the foster mom by saying, you know, everything that comes out of my mouth is nonsense and crazy. You know, that's not fair to do that to a person. You make you it's like you dehumanize me right there. That I don't have a right to I don't have a right to talk at all. But he you uh you know spewing out life threatening lies on people. I'm trying to say I the route she's going is not safe and I worry for her at times. See how she's trying to make it like as if I'm super mental and can't help but crazy as fuck and can't help myself. You know, as I said, somebody would do a, all it takes is a quick second to do a quick offense to you. And you don't, I mean, and sometimes they catch you off guard because we target individuals. It seems like we try to go on about our lives and forget we even a target individual sometimes or forget that's on our mind and try to enjoy our lives. And, like, you can be just, you know, sitting at the beach and, uh, you know, quietly watching the, the waves. And then next thing you know, all these perps come by and just random sudden noise campaign. And you know what? They're doing that for you. And so, you know, like, why the hell you want to, if you have all that space way over there, there's a whole bunch of beach area. And you want to come by me when I'm isolated by myself. You go, you, you ain't going to tell me that's not harass or that they just enjoying themselves, having a good time, minding their business, and you don't want to harass them. Hell no, because God sees everything, and he also knows everyone's hearts, too. And my head hurts feeling stressed. So, you know, she's trying to say, but he literally never said she deserved to be murdered. She lied. No. He did say I'm asking for uh, to be gang stalked and I'm asking to be murdered. He did say that. You know, so. As I said, you know, I had a rough New Year's t earlier this year. Alex lied on, he lied on me. And he called the police on me unprovoked for no reason. Is that not harassment? He's the per. He admit that he's a Jesus hating Freemason. That serves that he's a Satan devil worship. I mean, he admits he is a Satanist. So, if my twin sister sold out to Satan, and is rather, you know, work. I don't even know what made her decide. I mean, if you want to hold a hateful grudge. You know, she said on Twitter I should go and drink bleach, but you lied and said I never wish death on you and I never will. Then why are you defending these perps then? If you say you're not a gang stalker, why are you defending them? Tony White is a fake T.I. perp. And he must have been desperate for meth money. I don't know what kind of drugs he's on, but he does something. So, and I don't like my younger twin sister thinking that she got such high power and authority over me and acting like she thinks she can handle me and try to be manipulative and abusive. And I won't take it no more from her or anybody else. I don't give a fuck or care who y'all are. Y'all been calling me stupid for many years for just taking abuse, not even realizing because, you know, we sitting here. You know, growing up to believe it's normal. And, you know, it's, it's like y'all sick obsession with wanting to control people and deprive people of everything that they have the basic rights to have. Y'all want me eliminated off of the face of this earth for insurance money or whatever other money, whatever profit or gain. That y'all y'all gonna rejoice if anything happens to me. If I'm in jail, if I die, you know, or if I get locked up in a mental institution, that's another bonus for y'all. But y'all are not perfect. 
You do not have authority or power over me. You're not my handler. You're not going to fix me. You know, you're not going to, I mean, you, you ain't got no power over me. Because you just want to stay comfortable doing evil and thinking you're right. Thinking you're righteous. So, as I said, I deserve to be heard too. Nobody wants to listen to the crazy person telling the whole truth. But you'll sit there and believe a so-called sane liar. A mentally sane deceiver. You know. Their tongue is just a basically a, a dece disease of deception. <clears throat> so, you know, Tamika Evans, J.E., David Jane, Star Bricker, all y'all, and any more else. Alex Dupree, Fake Madison, you're not even targeted. You should call yourself Pert Madison. Uh, and whoever else got something to say, mind y'all fucking business. And, and my twin sisters too. If me calling out somebody um, gang stalking me, if you want to treat me like I'm not, I'm not like I'm a stranger, like I'm not a twin, then you know that Tony guy doing a video on me ain't got nothing to do with you. But you gonna sit there and defend him? How, you're the one that's twisted and fucking backwards. Because most people defend their motherfucking families with all they got. Well, all they might. But that's why I call this the mentally slow, crazy biological family. Because it's in reality, it's y'all who ain't mentally God at all. Y'all with the one with the perversion and weirdness. As I said. I have a right to be heard. And I'm talking about everybody. If me talking about Tony White ain't got nothing to do with her. Oh me, me her my mental my mental um if if you're way in Texas and I'm here in Florida, me calling out the next door neighbor ain't got nothing to do with you if you ain't trying to help or be supportive. But all you'd rather do is, you know, stalk, harass, and try to oppress and abuse and try to control your own twin sister because I'm not part of the wickedness. <clears throat> but, you know, it, it's, just not, it's, just, it's just not fair how everything has to be one-sided. And y'all ain't going to say nothing to her, but you're going to act like, oh, you keep, uh, you keep, you keep bringing it up or you keep talking about it, but y'all ain't going on her page and tell her nothing. Oh, yeah, y'all give her more thumbs up and, and applaud her for her lying, venomous lying, her venomous life-threatening lies on people, not just me. Excuse me. <clears throat> so, this is just a message to all you gang stalking perps. Leave me the hell alone and stay out of my motherfucking business and stop commenting on my every move. Because I don't do that to y'all. I only comment when you do something dirty to me. And I'm sorry in advance if I ruined your New Year's. But not like 2021 is going to be better anyway. <clears throat> 